Today we are going to see some important ideas of using various controls in Visual Basic 2010. My friends, we have been discussing a lot about doing many programs using Visual Basic before. As you know that whenever you are going to open a new file, you will click on new project. When you click on the new project, it will open a new window like this. You know, you are very familiar with this one because you have completed quite a number of programs, like 20 programs using Visual Basic before. So I am confident that you are aware of these steps, which I am not going to take a long time to explain to you. Since you are familiar with the environment, this is a form that we have got. And we can see that this is a form where we are going to design the user interface and we have the property window we have the solution explorer and this is a toolbox today we are going to see a simple usage of a single simple tool which is nothing but a radio button so the radio button is like this it's a circle in shape and you will use it as a common feature in many of the user interface like this so I have radio button 1, now I want to place radio button 2, 3 and 4. I copied radio button 1, I paste uh, the other buttons, radio button 1, 2 and 3 and 4. You can see this is radio button 1 and this is radio button 3 and this is radio button 4. So now I have placed 4 radio buttons, you know that I am just using the label here to give a name for this particular program. Because it has been our standard practice to give the name of any of the uh, the name for any of the program for the user to understand what is this program using radio button to change using the radio button to change the color using radio button to change to change the color of screen color of the form this is what to change the color of the form a form form so now you can see here it has come here so this is the purpose or the functionality of this particular program which we are going to use now i am going to go to font i am going to go to the font in the font you can see that i am going to increase the i am making it bold i am making it 16 I am making it like this. Now you can see that it becomes very elegant and you can see it very clearly. Similarly, I am going to the font here and I am just trying to use bold here again, but I am using a little bit smaller font, which is 14. Now I have the same thing here and I am going to do the same thing here again. I am going to the font bold and I am just making it 14. I am just giving it OK. Now this is radio button 1 and this is radio button 2. Okay. I am going to do the same thing for radio button 3 also. In the radio button 3 and 4 also I can do the same thing. Like I can choose radio button 3 and 4. And I can go to font. See I am selecting the two of them together. I am just changing it to 14. I give OK. Both the radio buttons are changed. This radio button I do not know what is the issue because it looks different. It is not looking very nice to have a different thing. So I will choose it bold and then I will make it as 14. So now all the four radio buttons are this one. Radio button 1, radio button 2 and radio button 3 and this is radio button 4. Now what I am going to do is that very simple. I am actually going to go next property I am going to change is what? I am going to go to the uh, you can see there is a text there is a text there is a text in which you can see that we have a text here in the text I am going to change it as just I am going to use it as change color change color to red for example I am giving it change color to red the same thing I am going to do it here change color to green change color to green then I am going to do the same thing over here change color to blue 
see I am going to give it here as change color to blue now the last one I am going to give is what I am going to give change color to change color to to change color to yellow now you can see that I have got the four buttons I know that you are very much fascinated to see different colors so I am going to show you how I can change the colors using the radio buttons I will click on the radio button as you know very well whenever you want to write a code on a particular button when an event has to take place on a click of a particular control you will click on that one double click then you can see here this code is written for radio button 1 so you will write the radio button 1 and you will write here very simple see me dot back color me means what the form m m color equal to color dot I am going to change it as what red color dot dark red for example I would like to give dark red okay now the code is done for radio button 1 now again I go to the design I choose the second button which is this one again double click on it now I am going to write the same code me dot back color equal to color dot green okay color dot green I am going to just write it like this color dot green now I am going to go to the next one color dot blue so I am just going to write the same code me dot back color equal to color dot blue I am going to write it down here color dot blue the last one I am going to do it here is that I am going to change it as color me dot back color equal to color dot yellow okay I am just giving yellow and now we have all the codes done you can see here if you are not very sure whether you have written everything correctly you can see that you have written you have written the code here and you can see for yourself the code is written hopefully there are no errors so you can go to view if you are not seeing any window you can see here we have got different windows here like for example we have a toolbox object browser this is object browser if you want if you don't want it you can just give view and then you can remove the object browser it will go like object browser if you want you can add it or you can close it go to view now we have solution explorer team explorer server explorer error list I want to see the error list so I am just giving it here so zero errors there are no errors in my program code so if you don't want if you don't know there is whether there is an error or not and this window does not appear sometimes you see that the window is not here like this so don't get worried what you have to do is that go to view then just go to the error list can you see it here just click on it you will get it now you can notice it here there are zero errors that means your program is perfectly all right and you are ready to run so now we are you can see here this is debugging debugging means if there is any error we can find out but there are no errors we are going to test the program now see now the color is red because we have given the code here can you see the code here the color is change to red you can see me me is what the form what is back color background color color is actually what red now if I am going to select this one it is changing into green and if I am going to choose this one it is going to become as blue can you see here it is going to become as blue and if I am going to choose this one it is going to change as yellow so I have done the program now you see that this is a screen design and this is the coding which I should write you can see this is the coding and this is the thing which I am going to write for this one now I have to save the file file save all and then just press S where I want to save the file I want to save where I want to save it in desktop for example I choose desktop so I will just type here uh, not in projects I will wa I want the file to be saved I go to computer or I want to save it in documents for example I make a folder I give like 222 programs for exercise 4 
and what I am doing is that I am selecting the folder I am giving the file name as using radio button using radio button this is what I am giving okay using radio button select the folder okay okay it doesn't exist so folder name is not needed so you are actually browsing and then you are actually going to documents okay program exercise 4 and you can give select the folder and then you can give the name of the file the the program as using radio radio buttons this is what is the idea of the program we save now once you save the program your program is saved and now you will see that you can see the program here in documents for example you will see the program in documents for example you can see the program using radio button there's a folder and this is a file which is actually your DB form which has been saved can you see here visual studio solution okay now this is a file which is going to be run so I hope you got a very clear idea of how to design and how to write a code and how to debug how to check for errors and how to save the file using visual basic this is a very simple program we will try to use some business applications see my friends you have to actually practice these programs whenever you are free these codes are very easy and simple for you to understand so no need to panic it's a very easy way that you can score good marks see you then inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi barakatuh